This is question 11 from paper 1 of the SQA Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher Paper. This diagram shows the graph of y equals f dashed of x. That's the derived function graph. It's the gradient graph. And we're asked to explain why this function f of x is never decreasing. Well, to answer this question, we really need to understand the relationship between the graph of y equals f dashed of x and the original function that it came from, y equals f of x. So let's have a little discussion about that. So here we have a curve y equals f of x on the top graph and I have a wandering tangent to this curve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the values of the gradient of this tangent at various points along the curve. I'm going to plot the values of these gradients on this lower graph to get the gradient graph. And I'm going to assume in the top graph that the scale on each axis is the same. So for instance, at this point, that gradient looks to be around 2. So I'm going to plot a value down here of 2 to show at that point on the graph the gradient value is 2. Let's move the tangent along a bit. A gradient of 1. A gradient of 0. About minus 1. Minus 2. Minus 1. Zero. Just less than one, maybe there. A bit less than one. Back to zero. Maybe one there. Two there. So what I can do is say, well, in between these values, the values that we should get for the gradient would fit a curve similar to this. So what I'm looking at down here is a curve y equals f dashed of x, which is giving me the gradient values of the curve at the top. So this is the original curve, and I've produced the gradient curve, gradient graph. Now, several things to notice uh, in this that when the gradient values are positive, that happens in this little section here between there and there. We have positive values for the gradient and on the original curve we can say that the values are increasing you go from left to right, the values in this curve are increasing. The graph is an increasing uh, graph. At this point here, 
we have a zero gradient and up here we have a stationary point. So that point is stationary where the tangent of this wandering tangent was zero at that point. Now, for all of these values of the gradient, they're negative below the x-axis here. So negative gradients on this graph up here, in the original graph, that's in this section, you get a decreasing graph. So this is decreasing. And on the gradient graph, we've got negative values for the gradient. The gradient graph is below the x-axis. So above the x-axis, increasing. Below the x-axis for the gradient values, decreasing. And once again, we've got a, a zero value for the gradient, and that produces a stationary point on the original curve, or corresponds to a stationary point on the original curve. And again, here's a section where the gradient values are all positive, the gradient graphs above the x-axis, and on the original curve we have an increasing section that goes all the way to, to there. So positive values for the gradient, increasing curve. Again, we have a zero value for the gradient corresponding to a stationary point on the curve. And then the final uh, part of this, we have positive values for the gradient corresponding to an increasing section of the original curve. Now, this last part here is very close to the question we're trying to look at, where we have positive gradients going to a zero gradient, but continuing with positive gradients. And on the original graph, we have an increasing curve going to a stationary point, continuing increasing, giving you this shape here. Now, in the question that we're trying to work out, we are given the gradient curve. We are given this green curve, and we are asked to say something about the original curve. So back to the original question, this graph that we're given is a gradient graph. It's like the green graph that we had in our demonstration. It's a gradient graph. And our task is to try to reconstruct the original graph that it came from. So we're looking for things about y, the graph y equals f of x and we're using facts that were given about this gradient graph y equals f dashed of x. Now the first thing you can see is that this lies entirely above the x-axis or on it. It never is below it. So the reason why f of x is never decreasing is because f, dax, f dashed of x, let's put this down, since f dashed of x is greater than or equal to zero, green graph or gradient graph lies above or on the x-axis, then f of x is increasing or stationary. Hence, never decreasing. So that's part A.
now you have to look at part B, which says on a graph y equals f of x, the y coordinate of the stationary point is negative. Sketch a possible graph for y equals f of x. So here we have the gradient graph. The stationary point would be at this point, and it says its y coordinate is negative, so it must be below the x axis up here. This section, remember we can divide this up into two into sections. This section, since the gradient is a the gradient graph's above the x-axis, it's returning positive values for the gradient, which means that this is an increasing function. And it comes to a stationary point. But then it continues increasing, not so much at first, but then with greater and greater gradients. So it continues to increase. So our graph y equals f of x has that shape. And you'll recall that from the demonstration that we did a minute ago. Um, increasing, coming up to a stationary point and then increasing again.